Now, Android phones are some of my most favorite devices to own, and I'll go and show you some of the ways that I typically go through and de-bloat to my Android phone. I pretty much go through and just remove a bunch of stuff and turn off a lot of things in the back end, and it usually gives you a smoother, cleaner experience, and these are basically usable on any sort of Android phone out there. Now, the first thing I'd recommend doing pretty much always starts off with the home screen. If you have tons and tons of widgets and tons of applications all over the place, your best bet is to probably remove some of these if you're no longer using them. So what I would recommend doing is just finding the widgets you're no longer using and kind of turning them you know, off or just deleting them. That's probably the easiest thing you can do. Same thing with applications you're no longer using. Just go and delete the apps that you're no longer using or you no longer need. You can do usually do that by holding down the application, clicking on app info, and pretty much just uninstalling the app. Usually, if you just do that for a lot of the apps you're not using, you can clean up a lot of different things in the back end of your phone, and that's exactly what I'd recommend doing as well. That's like the easiest way to deep bloat or just remove a bunch of stuff from your Android device. Now, within applications that you use, there might be some things that you may want to delete as well. So things within like your message applications, WhatsApp, your phone application, any other messaging applications or anything like that, even Snapchat, you can try deleting some of the messages within those apps because that can also help clean out a lot of different things in the back end of your phone as well. Now, let's get into some of the crazier ones. Inside of your settings application, one of the biggest things that kind of, at least would not slow down my phone, but just kind of maybe would make me feel bad about my device was within the applications manager panel. So click on apps right here, and then go and click on basically where you can see all the applications. And there are so many things within my phone that I basically no longer need or no longer use, and I can see them within this specific panel. Now, what I would recommend doing is not going through and just removing or deleting anything you don't know of. There's probably a list on Google somewhere on Reddit where you can see a list of things that you can turn off within this specific panel. But if there are things you're no longer using, let's just say Google Drive, for example, I can tap on Google Drive. And although I'm not able to go ahead and delete this application, I can force stop this app and I can disable that application if I want to. So if I disable this app, it's no longer functioning as intended, but it's still on my device. Now, with other things, like let's just look at like, I don't even know what these ones are. I'm not able to disable these. So I shouldn't touch anything I'm not able to disable. Well, I'm able to disable this, I guess. But other ones, like for example, I would be very, very careful on disabling or force stopping things that don't look familiar. But on random other ones, like you can, you know, disable or force stop whichever things that you want to for the most part. Facebook is another one. Go ahead and just force stop this app and just delete this application. And Gboard is one I'd probably recommend. As you can see, I'm not able to disable this app. So I wouldn't even force stop it. So these apps I wouldn't really touch. Google, I think, is another one I can disable if I want to, but I probably wouldn't. But go through, find the ones that you no longer need or no longer use for the most part, and go ahead and disable the applications that you no longer need. Now, you can always enable them. You can always open them up and enable them again. But there are lots and lots of applications here that you probably no longer need that you can either uninstall or disable. And I'd recommend going through and doing that. Again, Google luckily doesn't allow you to disable a lot of them. But those are, this is basically the big one. If you want to go ahead and deep bloat your Android phone as much as possible, go through this panel, find the applications you're no longer using, and you'll basically be able to go through and, you know, save a lot of, either save a lot of memory or save a lot of, you know, memory in the background of your device. Finally, you probably want to update your device every once in a while. So go inside of your system settings of your Android phone, click on system update, and go ahead and update your device. And that can be another thing I'd recommend doing as well. So that pretty much covers it up for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That will mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.